Oh man, oh man, oh man. Before we get started with this video, you know what time it is. Thumbs up, boy! Alright, let's get to the news item. Make sure you click a like, 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 thumbs up. That's what that thumb meant, boy. Alright, we have some dope Nintendo Switch news items for this video. And the first one is a banger, bruh. We got... The teaser for Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 at E3. Game is looking lit. Top three favorite games on the Switch. I, I can't just think of it off the top of my head. But it's up there. Probably the best game on the Nintendo Switch. If you have a Switch and you didn't get Breath of the Wild, what's wrong with you, bro? But the news today. This is coming from Inverse.com. And they are saying this is a leak that Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 will launch alongside a brand new Switch model that's only for home games. These rumors about the Switch, the, the, what the next Switch is going to be, starting to heat up, bro. And... Like I said, it makes sense. You have the Switch, home, and handheld. Then you have the Switch Lite, just handheld. Maybe Nintendo's, very likely Nintendo's next system could be just home. And it's all in one ecosystem. Nintendo already said they're going to have a family of systems for the Switch. So I could imagine that the games will be somehow compatible. Just running at different um, resolutions, frame rates, depending on which system you have. But Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 is said to be a launch title for the new Switch model. That's just going to be a home gaming console. Even more information, brah. And... It's claimed that this Zelda will be will be able to run at 4K 60 frames per second, up to 4K 60 frames per second. I'm just a messenger, bro. When dudes DM me, when dudes message me on Twitter, when I get this information, my job is to relay it if I think it's cool or it's something that you guys might be interested in. So... They're also saying this alleged leaker is claiming that Breath of the Wild 2 uh, will be out in 2021. January 2021, though. And it will be called Breath of Darkness. <laughs> Red flag. There ain't no way they know the name of the, the, the game right now. Nintendo. I can understand you get like tidbits. But the name of Breath of the Darkness sounds cool. But I don't know. The trailer does look a little dark. This might be the Majora Mask of Breath of the Wild. Where it's a little more. No, but this is still going to be in Hyrule. Majora's Mask was in a completely different land. Terminal. But um, this would be. I'm hoping this is true, bro. Home console Breath of the. Because this game, it looks clean. Look at the water, bro. 4K, 60 frames per second. Breath of the Wild on the Switch. Dope game. Loved it from beginning to end. My favorite Zelda game is Breath of the Wild. And that says a lot. Because for a long time, it was linked to the past of the Super Nintendo. No Zelda game topped it. Wind Waker came close. <coughs> but it was always Link's Awakening. Finally, Zelda Breath of the Wild blew everything out of the water. Changed everything we could ever think about a Zelda game. Link could jump, boy. So... I love this game, but one issue with the game was the frame rate. There were places where it was sporadic, and the game ran at 30 frames per second. Understandably, it was a huge open world game. Just imagine Zelda at 4K 60 frames per second icing on the cake. 
that would be dope sign me up day one whatever nintendo's next console is it's going to be day one anyway with microsoft and sony always wait and see what are they going to do what games eh, i don't know but <laughs> nintendo consoles i just get them grab them i grab them boy we grab them switches boy four all right so um looks like the next cell and this is another reason why i say this sort of makes sense the first zelda launched with the switch it helped to sell uh, switch systems if zelda breath of the wild 2 launches on the switch what if they make it a switch 2 exclusive current switch owners would be mad but it would be a good move by nintendo to force you to upgrade because dudes would be like, I don't need to upgrade. I'm good. I got, I got a switch. I play it at 1080p, 30 frames per second. No, Nintendo wants you to buy their new system, 4K, 60 frames. All right, next news item: Nintendo just dropped another Ring Fit Adventure trailer. I had to say this game isn't my cup of tea. I was, hey, I bought the Wii Fit, the balance board, bro. I used to play the mini games, bro. I had all the motion control stuff, bro. I'm a little over motion gaming right now. The only thing I like with motion gaming is motion aiming <laughs> on my pro controller. That's as far as I'm going to go with motion gaming right now, bro. My kids will probably like this. My wife might even like this, but I ain't getting this, bro. New trailer. Oh, I, speaking of games, I am going to be getting, though. Bro, this Asphalt 9. Asphalt 9. You can... I downloaded it for free on the eShop. It's on the eShop and it says free download. I don't know what that entails, but you could preload it for free. So maybe a free to start game. It comes out tomorrow. Sponsors. Man, I have a I'm gonna be busy tomorrow, but I definitely, definitely, definitely will be playing this game with any sponsors. Become a sponsor, Twitch, YouTube. Or Patreon, join a dope Nintendo gaming community. I will be on the Asphalt 9. It has online multiplayer. Every racing game needs to have online multiplayer. One of my issues with Grid. Grid just came out on the Switch. I love the Grid um, racing games. But it doesn't have any online. Forget that. I ain't buying that. That was $34. But this Asphalt 9 will have online multiplayer if you have a switch download it for free and let's race but it looks cool a fun arcade type racing game come on man let's go man let 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 comes out tomorrow speaking of things that are coming out tomorrow <coughs> mario kart tour is receiving an update a new tour launches tomorrow the tokyo tour the first tour was new york um um themed this next one is going to be tokyo as well as some new retro tracks will be added into this tokyo tour very controversial mario kart bro and i really don't get the controversy why are dudes upset it's a mobile game bro if they were charging me 60 dollars and i still had to pay a five dollar subscription i'd be hot but it's a mobile game bro nintendo's going for a different audience and so mario kart tour the Tokyo Tour drops tomorrow. And last but not least, it's being reported that Dragon Quest S has sold through 65% of its initial shipment in Japan, which is pretty good. <coughs> I'm hearing the game is doing pretty good. The Switch version is the definitive version. I need to beat Link's Awakening, and then I'm going to get on no Link's Awakening, Overwatch. But Overwatch is a multiplayer game, so I'm just going to always be playing that. Link's Awakening, Luigi's Mansion, Dragon Quest S. Those are my three Switch goals, bruh. So many games out, man. I need to just focus. And so, I can't play all these games. Like, Apex 3, Season 3 just came out. Plants vs. Zombies, I want to play that. But it's so many games to play, bro. I got to focus. I got gaming HD, HD. Link's Awakening. Overwatch. Luigi's Mansion 3. Dragon Quest S gaming goals, bro. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We are, bro.